What's goody, what's goody, what's goody, people? It's your boy, JFK. We shining in live on Steak Sauce Television, man. Yo, y'all heard that new gun with Offset? I got the swag out of them. Man, that thing, yo, that boy Gunner? You can't front, son. The, the boy Gunner ain't missed at all since he kind of been in the game, if you really. Like, I was going to say he been, but I had to think for a sec. Like, Gunner really don't have no whack projects, bro. Like, think about it. Even his mixtapes is fire. And now, since this happened with Thug and all that, he got a lot. It's like he got, he got like almost a hundred times better than what he already was. And he already was fire. Yo, this track with him and Offset, fire. Like this track, even Future posted it. You know what I'm saying? They back, man. They back fucking with one. Everybody talk niggas fucking, man. Bro, Gunna had, might have been the best album last year. Hands down. And he didn't rat. He didn't rat on nobody, bro. Y'all want him to be a rat so bad, bro. He didn't rat. Flea Lord dropped the classic. He's been dropping some singles. I guess he got a project coming up. Y'all don't know about Flea Lord. He from Fall Rockaway. Fire rap. I first heard him rapping with Griselda years ago. That's what put me on to him. He fire. El Camino, he down with uh Benny the Butcher, BSF. He just dropped some fire. Who else dropped some pack? So there's some good. Like to me, the underground to me is that's to me that's that's the best era of hip hop. Like the underground always be having ransom. Ooh. Yo, Ran, every time I see you on the gram too, bro, you on the island, so I'm starting to feel like you live on the island, because, bro, I don't even see you in the streets in, like, years. Like, I've been following this nigga on Instagram for the longest, and, like, for the last few years, I don't see him in the United States. <laughs> it look like he's on the island every time he posts something. But, yeah, that, that new project you dropped, that's, that's, man, but you, that's what you do, bro. That's why it's, like... When it comes to Ransom, or especially lately, like within these last, what, maybe five years, even though all, to me, all Ransom shit is crazy, but these last five years, he kind of went up, he kind of up there with kissing them now, like, with Jay-Z, you might have to, we got to start mentioning him with those dudes now. Ransom is not playing, bro. <laughs> Word of mother, son. Whatever was 38 special, shout out 30, 38 special, the whole trust, but whatever he told Ran, man, listen. But this was this was just me telling talking about new music. You know what I'm saying? The dude Sir down with TDE, he fire. And they be talking about R and B dead. How R and B dead when you got dudes like Masigo, you got Sir, you got the chick Alex Isley, you got Cleo Soul, you got so many people. That's giving good R&B, but these dudes saying R&B is dead. Like, what? No, that's because y'all top 10 listeners. Y'all only listen to what's on the what's on the radio. Like, bro, you got to open out your music. Broaden out your, bro, it's so much fire. You got Thundercat. You got Anderson Pac, Bruno Mars. These dudes give good R&B music. And indie music, like, yo, these dudes just fire. Oh, yeah, and I heard the man Vibes Cartel. Molly be finna come home, bro. If Vibes Cartel come home, yo, his first concert probably gonna be some record-breaking. If this dude come home and he do a concert, bro, it's probably gonna be hundreds of thousands of probably a million people march, bro. That's crazy. I hope he come home. I heard Max B supposed to be coming home. That's fire. I hope that because he Ben was supposed to be coming home. It seemed like every time French drop an album, he supposed to be coming home. <laughs> but this your boy JFK, man. We pouring live signing out. Steak Sauce Television. We out of here. Ow.